Hey folks, how's that looking for you? Um, we're not dropping frames, which is good. The rate seems steady. Um, looks a bit fuzzy, but I guess we we are at a low bit rate overall. So yeah, let, please do let me know how it's looking and sounding for you, um, and I'll do everything I can to uh, make it as smooth an experience as possible for us. Um, but I think I'm I think it's high time to get on with our adventure. You notice that we're in the middle of a labyrinth. Um, uh, I'm still trying to persevere with this tablet, but it's not getting me anywhere. Okay, <laughs> so welcome back to Wizard and the Princess. Uh, last time we left our adventure, we were in the middle of a labyrinth in the Wizard's Castle, and there was only one path we hadn't tried that was hard to map out because geographically it doesn't quite fit in with everything else. So I'm going to have to do a bit of a, a map cheat and find a place to put our map uh, for that area that's sort of off to one side. Excuse me if there's a bit of uh, rustling around while I rearrange things on my desk slightly to, there you go, make some mouse room again. I can try again with the tablet later but I'll, I'll persevere with the mouse for now. Okay, let's get a um, map. So part of these streams, if you've joined us before, is we spend a bit of time mapping, but that's, I think that's okay. That's, that's quite a chill thing to do. That, that was the wrong function, here we go. Yeah, so we'll go from there. So, but we kind of, I'm expecting, so we're going uh, I hadn't explained, we're going uh, the uh, leftmost passage from this crossroads here. Um, and I'm expecting that to just go left a bit and down a bit would make sense, um, given the, the geography of the maze. So I tell you what, I will zoom out a little um, so I can draw some connecting parts. Okay, hang on, let me just check out. Okay, so that's with that group. And then, so what I really want to do actually is move this. This is all technical magical scroll stuff, um, which probably doesn't make a lot of sense as I might write to myself uh, for you guys, but for me it, it does make sense. Okay, so I'm going to do a line across yeah. Oh yeah, and I, my brush size isn't quite what I would uh, expect because I worked on something else in the meantime since our last stream. That makes perfect sense. Um, I'm going to zoom in again. Zoom in. Yeah, that's like a ball of string. That's cool. Okay, look at the zoomed in and let's uh, go west I can remember compasses actually I'll tell you what I'm going to do this is only the second crossroads of this type that we found in this labyrinth so far so I'm going to get the stick because I know that one crossroad is the one without anything and one crossroad is the one with a stone by it we haven't used our stick yet and the stick may be useful you can never can tell in a game like this Okay, here we go, familiar territory, um, doing these kind of corridors. So we can only go south, and okay, it's a further screen. So what we do is we um, we map this stuff out. So especially when it's a, a labyrinth of all things, so we know um, where we need to go to get back to anywhere. Um, that was not quite what I intended to do. Thanks. Uh, I just need to come back here. 
This is good. So we went south there. So we've got another, it's funneling us one way again, which does tend to suggest to me that we're probably going to end up at a dead end. But I, I don't mind the, don't mind what we find, really. Um, as long as we are happy that we've explored the full extent of this maze. Oh, my interesting, interesting, it's going to go north again. Hmm. Uh, yeah, as long as we're happy that we've explored the full extent, I'm, yeah, I'm content. Um, we have options, uh, which I'll, I'll go into a bit more when we get to them. If there's nothing here, we've we've st still got plenty to try out. Um, mainly a magic word that I'd like to try in a variety of circumstances. Okay. Ah, okay, it is a dead end. That's fine. I thought that would be the case, probably, and... Um, it does us no harm to find that. Okay, yeah, so that was this little, little section. So we're going to have to go south again, and... Let's east again. North again. And east again. That's Grand. Okay, so now uh, we're going to have to consult the other part of the magic scroll to... There we go. To try and work our way back to the exit. How do we get to the exit again? Um, I think we have to go south. Okay, so we want to get back to the castle proper. Um, because at the two extents of the labyrinth we found a just a room with a sealed door and at the other end was a dungeon with a cell uh, with a locked door. Um, it didn't appear to be anything else we could do in either of those locations. for me is literally okay um, oh great I think we just go east once more and then south and that gets us to the castle entrance and then what I can do is um, show you on our map um, where where we can go from here. So for anybody anybody who's joined us last time um, will know about this, but to catch anybody up, this is the console entrance in the middle here. Um, we can go to a, I can't remember what that was, assembly room I think it was called, um, and then up to a ballroom. If you try to go anywhere from the ballroom, if you try to go through this door for example, you instantly get teleported by the wizard to the locked dungeon cell um, and I'm not quite sure how you would get out of there um, if you go to the side from the assembly room you get to the throne room I think if you do anything in the throne room you get teleported into actually get teleported into a location I don't know how it connects to any of this you get teleported into a courtyard where we had to face off against a wild boar I think um, and that led to a kitchen room 
and then trying to go anywhere from the kitchen room got us transported somewhere else. Do I remember now? I think that got us transported into the labyrinth. Um, so we entered the labyrinth at one end, this end, which was just a room with a, a sealed door. And we quickly found that there was another location with the dungeon in. And then the rest was a big old mass of maze. So we eventually worked our way back to the entrance to the castle. And from there we could go upstairs instead. Um, there was this landing area with two doors. One way takes you to a room with a cupboard in it, which had a pair of shoes in. And on the sole of one of the shoes was written the magic word whoosh, which I'm hoping we can use in some circumstance. The room the other way had a delightful, probably human-sized frog in it. I mean, I couldn't quite tell whether it was a very small room or a very large frog. Um, if we try and interact with the frog or go anywhere, then we immediately get teleported back onto the landing, which suggests the wizard is probably trying to keep us from something important there. Um, I'm kind of tempted. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do, actually. I will save the game here while we're out of the maze, because I don't think we need to be um, in it for any particular reason. But we know how to navigate it if we do, do need to go back in. Um, so I'm going to save game. Uh, I have to swap the other discs over, and I'll save it as the same, yeah, same slot as we had before. I don't think there's any risk to that. And we're back to the game disc, so we'll go north into the... Oops, it wasn't north, was it? Sorry, I need to go west first into the assembly room. What have we gotten? There. West. So yeah, in some so in some screens, definitely if you try and interact with anything, you just get in uh, immediate trouble and get teleported. But I'm not I'm not sure about this room. Can I look at the flag maybe in this room? Let's see what happens. You see nothing special. Yeah, so in other rooms that would definitely get me in trouble. So this is the ballroom. Um, I think the the text will tell us that shortly in the ballroom. If I look at the chairs, what happens then? Yeah, you hear a wicked laugh and are suddenly zapped to a cell in the dungeon. So, I mean, while we're here, look at the door, see nothing special. Open the door. Door is locked. Can we look at the lock? Actually, can we use a key? I don't have a key. I don't see a key. Interesting, so it doesn't know about keys. What if I whoosh? Nothing happens. Okay. Um, can I talk wizard? No way. Can I talk door? Can I just type open? Sesame. I don't know how to open a sesame. <laughs> uh, we we have to make our own fun sometimes with uh, <laughs> with vintage adventure games. So I don't know how to get out of that cell. That might be a deliberate dead end. Such things are known to exist. So let's restore our game. So we won't try it there, it doesn't seem to benefit us. Um, which, should we try it in the frog room? That seems like the, the next most likely place to me. Um, so to, oh hang on, I made my map go funny. I'll, um, I'll, I was going to move the map slightly, but I'll wait for it to do whatever it's doing. And then, I think, no, I think it's good, okay. That's cool. Right, let's go over to the frog section of the map. Delightful. We need to go west. 
with the frog. I I have tried to kiss the frog, believe you me. I mean, it's a pretty cute frog. Whoosh. Interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, you don't get a chance to do anything there. It's really interesting. So, you know, I might need to go back to the throne room. If there's a consistency to where you get teleported to, that kitchen and courtyard area might be the way to go. Um, okay. Basically, I'm just going to try wishing in any place that seems it seems appropriate to wish. And if that doesn't work, uh, we, we might have to look for some help elsewhere. If you're watching along and would like to offer any uh, hints and advice, please do. Always welcome with, um, with adventure games. Alright, so we're in the throne room. I'm going to wish. Something happens. Interesting. So I think when I looked at the throne before, that's when I got teleported. Can I go back out freely? Can. Interesting. What if I, what if I try and sit on the throne? That might be interesting. Something to experiment with. Sit at throne. I hope it'll say I don't know how to sit a throne. Okay. Oh, that's weird. I'm in the throne. Okay, what do I do now? Um Whoosh. Can I look at the throne? See nothing special. Can I look at the footstool? I'm just gonna try calling it a stool first. Don't have to look at stool. Look. Footstool. Don't have to look at footstool. Um, is search a thing? Probably not. See nothing special. Okay, search kind of, I think it's probably look, isn't it? Um, stand, get up, okay, um, what if I try sit throne again, yeah, so I can sit on the, so nothing's happening to me this time, well that's really interesting, because I have no idea how I get to any other place, do I, can I just go east from here, I don't have to stand, Okay, interesting. What if I go north into the ballroom and then whoosh? I mean, let's just do it. Oh, excuse me. Let's just do it in every room. You can never wish too much. Okay, nothing happens. I mean, the other two seemingly notable places to try it would be the ones at the other ends of the labyrinth. Okay. Yeah, so you can't get out of... What if I say look cell? See nothing special. Go door. Door is locked. Um, unlock. 
door. We have no key. Get key. Don't see a key. Where would we get a key? Wish it happens. Well, 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 well. What about uh, Hocus? No way. What about this? Yay, we turned into a snake. Um, go door. Oh, you can get out as a snake. That's amazing. Thank you for rewarding me for that because that was awesome. In a dungeon, there's a doorway to the east. There's a cell here. Interesting. Look, manacles. Don't know how to look at manacles. So can I go north? Oh, I can. But I'm probably going to turn back into a human again. Uh. Change back to myself just in time. Well, that's. Um, uh, I'm glad I got rewarded for that little bit of lateral thinking um, and using our snake spell. I wonder if the snake spell is useful for anything else? Maybe. So, if that works there, should we try. If I restore the game so I'd have to navigate the maze again. We haven't actually made any progress. What if I were to go west? Yes. Go north. And try and go north again. No, the um can't evade detection that way. Um interesting. Okay, well good to know I can get out of trouble that way. So if I go excuse me, if I go east from here um, and along the passage Hang on, I need to consult my map because that geography is a bit confusing for me. Um, oh yeah, so you go, you have to go, yeah, you go north from here to go back to the dungeon. Now, but I need to go east to get to a corridor. The uh, yeah, the cardinal directions don't quite map out. I don't think for these. I need to go east again to get to the. Ah, I left a rock there. I remember. The nondescript room. There's a handle on the door, isn't there? Can I open the door? It is locked. What if I hiss and go east? Door is closed. Unlock door. No key. What if I whoosh? Nothing happens. Yeah, so that's kind of a dead end, isn't it? Should I try whooshing in the dungeon? I'll try whooshing in the dungeon and then I will try. Hissing before I go to see the frog. 
and then I think we're kind of out of ideas. Here goes nothing, folks. Okay, <laughs> nothing happens. I will restore the game. Once again, no progress made. Swap those discs back. Okay. I mean, I don't think we've wished here, have we? We could wish here, for sure. Okay. Um, yes. And then we want to go west. And preferably... Hi, Froggy. We go west again. No. Okay, I'm... I mean, so we wouldn't use the magic word whoosh in the room where we found out about the magic word whoosh, would we? Look how far those doors extend into the room. That's a substantial cupboard. Whoosh. Nothing happens. Okay. I, th I think I'm going to look for help. Um, yeah, bear with me a moment while I do a bit of research. Howdy folks. Well, there's a thing we can do that I haven't, hadn't occurred to me, to be honest. Um, but does use one of the items that we haven't previously needed to use. So, how... You know what? Uh... This might be... Can't go in that direction. Sorry, I meant west, didn't I? Um, it might be easiest to actually get teleported into the dungeon to get to where we need to go. So let's give it a try. So just tra trapping through the ballroom, floating on air, zapped into the dungeon. Gonna hiss. Gonna go north. Gonna go east. 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 You might be guessing where we're going from where we've previously been. We're going back to the room with the locked door. So, uh, I yeah, it wouldn't occur to me, but apparently we can jimmy it open with our knife. You pick the lock with a knife. You can jimmy it open rather than that. In a swamp room, so then we can open. Excuse my typing. Open the door, and then let's go. Would it be east? I guess it would. Um, and we can map things out from there. I think. What's it going to be? Oh yeah, we have. Oh, this just looks. Why is there a banister in a castle? 
Mind you, I did say before, didn't I, that the wizard does have control over time, so things from any era uh, shouldn't really be a surprise in their castle. Okay, uh, you're in a short hallway, so it looks like you go east, west, and up. So this, yeah, this, this is an entire different part of the castle. I guess I'm in trouble if I get to the kitchen, possibly, but other than that, we're all good. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna, tr yeah, I'm already drawing in. I'll try. I'll try going east. I'm really surprised actually at the size of this game compared to so the Sierra had previously released one one game, Mystery House, which we've played on stream before together. And it was, I think the whole game was probably smaller than the size of this castle area. It was more densely packed, um, for sure. There were um, fewer rooms with nothing to do other than just move through the room. Uh, but yeah, this um, the fact that this keeps it expanding and areas are larger than I would have thought. Um, is actually um, a pleasant surprise. <gasps> oh, it's the frog room! Amazing! I'm not sure how that makes sense because we weren't previously. Oh, but then it's a one way deal, isn't it? <laughs> because I think if I try and do anything, I'll get zapped to one side of this room. Okay. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how the levels are working here because I thought we were still on the uh, the ground floor at this point. So I don't know how we level with what is the, the next story up um, at the start of the castle, at the front. That's confusing. Um, so can we go back west? Now we solve the puzzle. We cannot. Well, that's. I understand why that teleportation happens now, and the reason is uh, to lengthen the gameplay and frustrate the player. I think. Really. Okay. So. There's no. Ben, was there any benefit to me doing? There's no benefit to me loading really because I'm in the same situation as I was before. So I'll just retrace my steps, much to my chagrin, and we'll um, go a different way. We'll go up instead. Um, I hope this is going somewhere good. I hope there's a princess, princess and or a wizard at the end of this. Hello? How have we ended up in the kitchen? Why did we not get teleported? That's very strange. In an old fashioned kitchen, there's a doorway to the east and one to the south. Um, look. Cupboard. So we got teleported from here before. Nothing in the cabinet. Okay. It appears we can just look around this room now. Um, look at the sink. No. Look, basin? It could be a basin, couldn't it? Basin. Look, pump. Look. Force it. Okay, the uh, 
verb inverting command of water on. No, no, that worked in Mystery House, but doesn't apply here. So if we were to go west, we're at dead end, I think. Oh no, so this is a, this is a dining room. I think we can go south from here though. Yeah, and this leads to the courtyard. It's a sad reminder of the dead boar that we, we killed with a poisoned apple. I think it's just a, hopefully a cross will load on it to indicate it's, yeah, it's mortal state. Um, and we can't go anywhere else. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? So I guess we ought to update our map. But we can't, it means we can't use the shortcut anymore. <laughs> Which is, um, this game. This game is certainly, uh, having fun with me, I'd say. And letting me know that I can't rely on uh, anything that is previously done to guide what I do next. Which is, you know, that's that's fine. That's, that's as it is. Um, that portion of the map anyway so actually yeah there are no, there are no unmapped routes um, in any part of the castle that we've been to thus far then it's just up those stairs in the bit we access by opening the door that's all there is that's really interesting to note Okay, so we've got do some rough rendering here. Uh, let me show you where I am. Here I am. Rough rendering of this kitchen. There's a door. Ooh. Yeah, pre pretty rough rendering. Uh, there's a cupboard and a stove and a sink and none of them are useful and then there's a four person dining room for some reason uh, in this grand wizard's castle looks does look more of a guard room to me and then this is the rather sad boar or death, uh, or death courtyard, um, which I think is is attempting to shame me every time I visit it. I mean, maybe I could have got out as a snake. Maybe that was my other option, but I didn't. That's not what I thought of at the time. Hopefully, the game's not going to try and. Uh, do any more than uh, make me feel bad about it. There. Yeah, that's adequate for my, my mapping purposes, I think. Okay, so to get to the... Um, I guess the fact that this area is now unlocked is progress. It feels like a flag's been set within the game, so I'll do it the old-fashioned way and uh, just manually navigate the maze. So I need to go east and then north and definitely can need to consult the map at that point
Okay, so I'm going to get that part of the map ready. There it is. Um, I'll just check in with my tablet, see if it feels like it wants to work. Because it does make drawing the map a, an awful lot easier. Um, try not to get it doing anything crazy in the meantime. It's not, not really working intermittently. Oh no, hang on. I think it might I think I might have worked stuff out. Okay. Um what if I so if I hold on a sec. Excuse me folks, I'm just gonna try and move my setup around a little bit. Excuse the scraping, banging and bumping. Yeah, okay, I think we've got an active tablet. I think we have. Well, I'll, um, I seem to like it better when it was over here. I think geography shouldn't play a part, should it? No, no, it's gone. No, is it? All right, well, that's inconvenient. It's an inconvenient place to put my tablet, but okay. All right, um, all right. I'll be typing commands for a little while anyway, so I can leave that to one side. Uh, there are just a few wires on my keyboard I need to poke out the way. Okay, well that's okay. It's something to bear in mind for next time. Right, where do I need to go? Uh, west, and then pretty sure west again is the only viable option. I'm going to zoom out a bit on here. Oh, oh, hello. The um, tablet. Yeah, not entirely okay. But never mind. Ah, now I've got to get it to here. That's okay. That's okay. Yes, I can see much more now. Hopefully you can see it too. And um, that will make it a little bit easier to get there, I think. So I'm just go west again to this junction where we'd go north, and then we go east. We go. East again. And from here we go north. And from here we go north. And here we go west. To the crossroad to where I left the rock. Nice. Um, north again. Sorry, typing west there. Let's move the map around a bit so we can all see that. So we're in the upper, the upper portion now. Okay. Um, that's north again. No, sorry, no, we're in this part, aren't we? So we just want to go east now. And I will save the game when we get to the room with the stairs. That seems like a prudent move. Hello, rock. I'm going to get the rock just in case I need it, because I don't think it's doing any anything helpful lying in the passage there. Okay. Um, east once more. I'm going to save the game. I'm going to save it in a different slot. I'm going to put it in M this time. This is going to be my M game, hopefully, for the end game. If you know what I mean.
Okay, we're saved. Um, thank goodness we're saved. Let's go up. Where are we going to be? Okay, this is like a tower room. Is there anybody here? We're in a tower. There are stairs leading down. Okay. Look. Window. Oh, that was not what I was typing. Look, princess. You see nothing special. Look, wizard. Okay, I think this might be another place where I need to consult the oracle for a moment. Um, and I will do that. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so uh, followers of this series will know that we previously picked up a ring that was lying in the wilderness and I found out that we could use the command wear, so we're wearing the ring. Apparently we need to rub the ring. Um, I have no idea how we'd know that. When you rub the ring, the sensation of being covered with fur engulfs you and quickly goes away. That's very strange. I don't know what that, was, what that was supposed to achieve. I'm confused by what I'm looking at. Um, yeah, so I've got a well, walks are open um, at this point. Kiss room. I I'm really confused by these instructions um, because they're not really explaining anything. Let me see if I can find a different walkthrough that puts it in context for me. Because I think it's clear what we need to do is... Uh, is not obvious, let's say. Yeah, and if there's anyone... Anyone out there who um, has a word of advice to explain what's going on here, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Um, so I'm gonna... Load our game up. It's not load, is it? I don't think it understands load. Uh, it's restore the game. And my tablet definitely likes being on my far left side rather than sort of by my right hand, um, which is inconvenient as I am right handed. Uh, right, change the disk, type N. Um, yeah, when it's loaded, press return. Okay, um, yeah, bear with me another moment more while I try to. Um, uh, get this last little bit of advice. Right, well this is confusing. So there's... We go up... Can we look at the window? Okay, look at the sky maybe? Is that oh, one too many gaps? Um, is that something we could do? No. Okay, so what the walkthrough tells me to do is go down. Once. Go 
go back up. I mean, so there's a bird in the room. Which is very beautiful. Wow. Um, so apparently we then need to rub the ring which might I mean given that given that it tells us it gives us a furry sensation maybe we turn into a cat you turn to a cat leap up and eat the bird wow what does what does that mean what was all that about this is incredible Well, I mean, what, uh, I mean, this game has just become incredibly surreal. So I don't know exactly what happens next, but you know what? I know I was on the right track. We do have to kiss the frog. So the frog becomes a princess. There is a princess following you. That's a lovely gingham dress. You see nothing special about the princess, oh for goodness sake. Um, so I'm going east. So by what logic does catching and eating a bird make you proof against the wizard's teleportation? I mean, how would you how would you even conceive such a thing? I mean, well, so my inclination would be to walk out the front door with the princess, right? We can do that, right? And then, then we've won the game, surely. No? There's nowhere else to go, is there? Well, I guess we could go to the throne room to confront the wizard. Yeah, I guess that's what we do. Because I don't... We can't actually get back um, to anywhere from here, I don't think. We're kind of locked into this little region. Um, so yeah, so the only thing that makes sense to me is to go to the throne room. This, um, this has gone from being mildly intriguing to being completely... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the appropriate word is. So I'm hoping there's going to be a wizard. gonna wish. Oh. Okay, I'm definitely going back to this walkthrough because the game isn't isn't giving me a lot here. Um right. Oh okay. So our mistake was not that we um didn't know the magic word, is that we're not wearing the shoes. The word pertains to the shoes. Whoosh. You're transported to Serenia. There is a princess following you. <gasps> okay. Well, that was our teleport out. Have we finished the game? 
Is there anybody here? We were told before there was nothing of interest to us in these houses. Okay, how do we know when we finish the game? Um, help me walk through. Help me, this has fallen apart. Okay. Apparently then we need to go... You'd think going to the village would be the way to do it, but we have to go north. Congratulations! You have safely returned the princess to Serenia. For this outstanding feat, you have been declared a junior master adventurer. Uh, I mean, I did have to cheat. There's no way I would have guessed um, the entire circumstances that <laughs> would get us to this point. Um, Green Valley Publishing thanks you for playing the wizard and the princess. You're in the village of Serenia. Range is a desert. Whoa. I wonder if it... Does it just loop? Does, has this gone back to the start? That would be amazing. This is based on... Oh no, okay, it doesn't. I might have to restart the game. But it, that's amazing. I mean, it is, it is kind of circular, isn't it? Because there was a motif of um, time travel, time resetting. And I'm, kind of, I'm amazed that the wizard doesn't appear. That's that's um, that's incredible. Why would the wizard not appear in The Wizard and the Princess? I mean, I heard some cackling. Uh, there were definitely a few setbacks along the way. Um, not least uh, not having sufficient intuition into uh, turning into a cat and eating a bird to overcome un unrelated magical restrictions. Wow. I mean, if you've joined me for this adventure, I, I sincerely thank you because it's it's been a really dotty one. I think I think that was the word I was looking for earlier. It's um yeah, it's dithered and it's dotty, uh, for sure, the wizard and the princess. But you know, I I found it as frustrating as it was fun, but I enjoyed the fun I had with it, for sure. Um, and yeah, so I guess for the next stream, I'm going to have to pull out something new. There is, um, there's one other of these early Sierra adventures, high res adventures they're called, that I'm quite keen to play, and I think I'll stream as well. Um, and there are, so I've got uh, access to all of them, and hopefully I can get them all working. Um, there's one in particular I'd like to try out, um, the others I might come back to at a later point. But I think it'd be nice to take a break from this kind of adventure game for a while. So there's another another kind of game I'm toying with the idea of playing. Um, and I'll do a few tests to see how well it might stream. Um, I certainly wouldn't need to do the mapping or anything for it, I don't think. So that might, um, that might help us a little bit with streaming, possibly. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll look into the possibilities and we'll definitely have another stream next week. That's my my plan. So, yeah, um, we're finishing a little bit early, but I think it's a great time to, to leave it here. Thank you very much for joining me. I, I hope you've enjoyed our adventure. Um, thank you for your, your support, moral and otherwise. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you for a stream again soon. Uh, you can... Um, what's the what's the correct term follow can you follow on twitch i think you can follow me can't you yes you can follow me to be notified of when i'm going live again uh, at the moment i'm expecting it to be at the same time on the same day next week um, you can also subscribe to me on youtube cat sequences not that easy to find but there's a link in my twitch bio if you're already on twitch here um and yeah, you can follow me there. So there's ongoing Let's Plays, there's my uh, now sort of epic uh, Let's Play of The Feeble Files. I think I'm getting near to the end of that. I, I hope I am. It's um, more of a struggle than The Wisdom of the Princess, I'll put it that way. Um, there's also a Let's Play of Divine Divinity, which I'm working through. And I'm also working on a few other little uh, one-offs and a few other bits and pieces that will appear in time. Um, so please drop by there. That's where um, videos on demand from these streams will appear as well. Um, 
probably in higher quality than the actual streams themselves, so uh, perhaps worth checking out if you're so inclined. Uh, thank you so much for your company, and until we meet again, take care. Bye-bye.